welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with a, a very easy, quick DIY. Um, what you're going to need for this is this brownie pan that I got. Everything here I got from the Dollar Tree besides the spray paint we're going to be using. So this is an 11 inch by 7 inch brownie pan. I got... Now, I already opened these, and I lost what it said on the top, but they are just these lids, but I got them with this design on it. They do come two in a pack, so I bought four, excuse me, well, I bought two packs all together, so I got four of the wheels here. I also got this silicone spatula. Now, what I liked about these, it's not too big. This is what we're going to be using as the handle. They also bend. So, you will see. But I'm going to be spray painting the handle black. The wheels or lids will be black. And I'm going to spray paint our brownie pan here with white spray paint. Now, you can put whatever you want to put in the center of it. I'm going to use some of the little mini hay bales. Probably going to open this up and kind of just shred like hay on the inside. We're just going to throw some pumpkins in there, maybe some flowers, and that'll be it. It's going to just be a very um, adorable, quick, easy project for someone to do. So we're just going to go finish spray painting everything, and we'll be back. Okay, everyone, so I have everything painted. Um, as you can see, it's all over me. So I spray painted the brownie pan. You can see I have a little couple scratches, but I also spray painted stuff all over the wheels, and this is what they will turn out to look like. So those are really cute. And I have all of our goodies here that I'm going to use. Oh yeah, and here's our spatula that was once red. Not anymore. Um, <laughs> so we are just going to very easily put this together and have yet another beautiful decoration for the fall. So I am going to just flip the pan over. But you can see I got some scratches on the bottom. But that's okay because we're not even going to see it. So I'm just going to take my glue gun here and you're going to want to, when you're gluing them on, you're going to want obviously this part to face the outside of the wagon. So we're just going to, I'm going to just like a little bit, can you see that? Here, let me put it down. Like we're going to go in a little bit on both sides and my hand is right in the way. Okay. So now I'm not going to do it right on the edge, but just bring it in a little bit. So we're just going to hot glue our wheel and then just take it and hold it on there. So move it up just a little bit. I don't want it right on the edge, but very close to it. Okay, so you just let that dry. And then you just do the same thing with the next wheel. Just add that hot glue. Perfect. And then same thing on this side. Just place it on. Not all the way to the edge, but close to it. There we go. And then we'll take the other two and just do the same thing on the other side. So our hot glue again on our wheel. Just kind of line it up with the one across from it. Then right on we go. There we go. I moved that one too late, so we're just going to add a little bit more glue because I moved it. 
after it was already drying. Okay, so let that dry. And then we are going to add our last wheel. All right. Hold that still. And then you'll have all four wheels to your wagon. Just like that. So I'm going to, so now this here, so you have your spatula. I told you, um, because the ones that I bought were the, like the smaller version, but they do bend in order for you to be able to glue it on the bottom here like that. So that will be your handle for your wagon. So what we're going to do is you're going to have to kind of lift it up. A little bit to be able to get it on there real good okay so what we're gonna do is just hot glue all over here this is the flat part here is gonna be what holds onto the um, the baking sheet or baking pan so we're just gonna lift this up a little kind of find the center and just hold that right on there And I moved it too soon. Okay. Oh, we're good. So then when you flip it over, you have your little wagon. So you have your handle to move the wagon. All of your wheels are on. So this is what you have. And now you could choose however you want to style your wagon. So I just chose to use what I showed you earlier, like the mini, the hay bale. And then I have, I changed the pumpkins I was going to use. So I'm going to just place these in. I'm going to actually hot glue this guy on top of the hay bale. Again, you don't have to hot glue any of this in there if you don't want to, because again, you can change it up throughout the different seasons and put whatever you want. So you don't have to glue any of this down, which I'm probably not going to. I'm just going to glue this pumpkin on its hay bale here. So these are the pumpkins I went with. And then I'm gonna use some of the mini hay bales here. And I'm just going to place them. Again, you can do whatever you want and place whatever you want in here. I'm just going to kind of place these in here. Let me turn it a little bit so I can see it. You can add, well, I'm going to show you. You can add flowers. You can add leaves if you want. So I have like the little mini mums. So I'm just going to kind of put them in here. Again, to your discretion, you can have as much, as little, whatever you want to do. But I'm just going to choose to throw some flowers in here. I do have some of these leaves. You can just even just lay them in here however you want to give it a little bit more. Again, just a very easy little project here nice and subtle and you could just put this wherever you want in the house just another cute little addition here so you got a little wagon again you could put whatever you want I think I'm gonna leave mine like this with just a little hay bales um, I'm sure if you had smaller pumpkins you could like these here you can add those in there if you'd like to I have a couple of those we could just throw in so there you have it so I am going to take a picture of this and actually I'll come back in a minute so you guys can see it a little better when I move it but this is what it came out to look like and I just think it's really cute something again for us wonderful whoever's watching who is a beginner perfect for you guys because that's what I am and I will be right back Okay, so there it is completely finished. I did decide to 
throw some um, of the leaves, the lights inside. So I thought that would look really pretty. Just still another little addition to it. So there it sits. You have the nice wheels. You have your little wagon, your handle, and you can again put whatever you would like to put in there. This is just what I chose to do. If you give me one second, I will turn the light off here so you can get a better look at it. All right, there's with the light off. So you have your little leaves in there. If you can see shining, it's just a little extra, you know, pizzazz. <laughs> so that is what I came up with. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until um, next time, bye now.